I'm going to a mall that is a little bit far away today because I think they have a really big selection of things. I believe it's not the, uh, the trendiest one, but uh, they have a lot of choices maybe something that was left from the past season because i'm gonna be shopping for my boys are we going to the uk and i need i think they need some windbreaker jackets something lightweight they have really warm ones only and uh, yeah one of my uh, previous year's videos about blazers was really popular so i decided to do it again and see what can be find so H&M is really good for affordable uh, well fitting well made blazers but you need to choose the material that works and the cut so we'll look at them today I'm having uh, yeah my outfit you'll see it later enjoy watching this I am Ukrainian and all commissions from this video are going to support Ukraine so please if you uh, will be shopping from one of the links below it's totally free for you but it will help people in need we are here and we are going to start filming from the H&M we have a little bit of music here prayer is going because of the Ramadan I think uh, H&M mostly has removed the trend section from the shops but these items seem like they are going to be in a kind of a trendy range and they're more premium quality from what I can see on the sleeves here. It looks actually very beautiful. I also had in mind traditional Ukrainian dressing is like a white shirt or a dress with some embroidery and my mom brought me some embroidery threads that I can actually use to do my own embroidery. Uh, so I'm also might be looking for a couple of shirts for me and for the boys to just have to buy and to do some needlework. Okay, I'm actually here. And a section of the summery dresses. This is very lovely, very nice uh, summery fabric with a lot of strapping to ensure a good fit. I'm just so not in the mood for dresses right now, but definitely check it out. Linen blend, the trousers that are crinkled and silk. Key. The, um, quite summery material but not exactly what you would want it's a little bit dense I, th I would say it's like a polyester but it might hold the shape pretty well uh, these dresses very very gorgeous the label looks plain so it's not the trend section and the price range is not super high but it is a very beautiful very beautiful dress for like any cover-up for your beach for for dubai for abu dhabi if you're traveling here really really amazing for any pregnancy you could actually like dress it up or down very very beautiful uh, we are going forward and we are seeing some knitwork a little bit similar to what i've showed you in prada we have some silky recycled polyester uh, pants these materials should be quite fun and quite easy to wear just beware of the spots like wet spots i like it there's a bunch of other things uh, with with the terry material i don't really i don't think i like it the toweling material i'm not into polos the, the shirts are cute okay there's, so there's a bunch of colors it is actually they made a similar or same print but the fabrics are different so one is linen this is a cotton uh very lightweight cotton so to me these dresses they lack enough fabric on the sleeves but they are very economic so affordable uh this one is uh, for another body type so also and the material again is different and it's like a linen-y blend of the cotton i think i might get it right let me let me check it out but uh, yeah very very nice and fresh prints that they offer this season just in the tops as well in the minimal section okay there's a lot of like things that's not really in my uh, mood scheme at the moment for the very muted ladies uh, you might want to check out this very beautiful very light print it looks like a cherry blossoms but with more lilac and pink 
in a linen blend and here is a small linen tote as well that is available uh, and we are gonna be checking the blazers so I'm just gonna go around and take a bunch of different blazers and if I see anything else that's worth uh, the attention I'll let you know maybe a couple of um, colored items uh, I'm just wearing the mango items from my last haul the yellow uh, long sleeve knit top uh, with the bright blue trousers and the shirt I wore the trousers yesterday when I was out with the kids I quite like it because it is kind of fun it always makes your outfit stand out and it goes really well with the black so if you want a white denim but you can't wear a white denim you can try this uh, because you know like when you carry a small kid they always leave footmarks on your white jeans and with the blue jeans it's not happening so that's why another reason um, to to try it out a uh, very beautiful uh, pink blazer that I think goes back a little bit to the Jacquemus who made this pink blazers very fashionably very fashion statement the very neutral for very blonde European girls you can try this one uh, there's one in green pale green a couple of shirts and yeah these crop tops I had one for the whole of last summer still looks really good really well made so um, they go really well with any of these blazers actually here's a good mirror with a good light and I'm loving my Prada bag it was unexpected I actually ordered two so I wanted I think I was preferring the blue one but then I just have this purple and it's kind of fun it's not my favorite color like I like it but I don't always like wear it I always struggle struggle to wear this color but as a tote it works I guess I'm sorry I do think it's just too much like abundance of colors yeah the Ukrainian colors are light uh, slightly you know like too bright so probably um, on normal days I would just like wear it white bottom I am at the fitting room and these fitting rooms are really small so <laughs> everything is just packed here with the blazers I think I might use another one I have all the seasonal colors here so everything is very very lightweight uh, they didn't have any like more of the winterish blazers left uh, only like a few I think there was a uh, one with the uh, checked print uh, but for the purpose of the city we want something that is very universal so it could be just black just neutral we have a few neutrals here or it could be a pop of color because I think yeah blazers are good for a lot of people they work much better like blazer with trousers or top uh, looks much more sophisticated and nicer than like any like nice and cute dress that's just what I think I think for me it just works so we'll actually start with this one it's two button blazer slightly oversized really long like when you put it closed together it kind of makes your legs tiny but um, it's this like young people's look the um, composition of the blazer was polyester with some viscose I think uh, not pure viscose still very lightweight but this one is made in a way like the the weaving is quite thick so it's like more textured and it reminds me of the wool blazer as well I'm just gonna try this empty fitting room just so I think you can see it better and the light is great here so as you can see um, it is very very similar actually to the Arcad blazer I think just the sleeve is a little uh, short a tiny bit short and uh, yeah I would prefer for myself a single button blazer but this is also an option and uh, with the two buttons it's a little bit more casual look not, not as uh, smart and more relaxed I'm gonna try to show you the materials so it actually looks like wool it's um it feels woolly but the composition is polyester I think poly with viscose so in my selection I think I never tried a viscose blazer before I maybe I have not noticed but viscose component makes them a bit more soft to touch so they quite quite nice against the skin but the shell and the lining for all of them is uh, is a polyester. -y. I just put I changed the tank top just I think it's just more suitable. Uh, this is a told to me uh, tank top. Let's go with the second one. Uh, the next black blazer 
is single button and it's much more fitted as you can see and it has more viscose and the uh, finish is very smooth so the fabric is very smooth you can actually can see it better from far away because the way it shines it if it's more matte it's more textured if it's slightly shiny it's more fine it really works like this so in terms of proportions i like it uh, better it's not as uh, long but um i think i would prefer uh, a bit wider so this is a size extra small uh, same as the previous blazer it was extra small so that's what it looks like i think for work it's uh, it's kind of a good option i just probably just needs a little steam and it will look good but uh, to be like super uh, fair i think i have the same blazer in brown so if you are into these don't go for the brown brown doesn't look nice in my experience i didn't wear end up wearing it so much and it's just like cut a bit too straight at the back it's kind of in between fitted and unfitted so i don't know maybe it would work for some people but um, yeah, definitely check out the Arcade if you want it to a bit more like premium cut. But uh, this button looks good. I think this is good for like work every day when you're just like in the office and then you need something quickly to uh, to put on to you know for a meeting or something. And it's a very a very good price. I also picked up these pink. <laughs> jeans they look really pale at uh, this uh in this lighting they're actually a little bit more bright like barbie pink i find them so adorable uh this is a size to 36 so if you want something a bit f more fun for the for your summer why not give it a try i'm tr gonna try to find it to adjust my lighting so you can just see it better okay here is the true impression and I'm surprised how these sneakers, they just go with everything. Like anything that I tried it with, they just go well. Like with the smart trousers, with the casual trousers, they just are um, pretty cute. Uh, so yes, here is the denim. A very like uh, wide and um, kind of like more like curly on the bottom. I have not seen similar cuts. Like most of the mango ones are just straight here. But uh, this is interesting. It's like a sweatband denim in a way so here are two neutral blazers that we have here one is white and one is off-white i'm gonna start with the white because i think it goes well with the pink the, the second kind of styling that i think should be done with the blazer in, with the oversized blazer is um with a legging with like something very skinny skimpy in the bottom and uh, bike shorts so for the purpose of this video i took some bike shorts and um, i didn't take my leggings but i think you can you can imagine okay so this is the cut of the blazer that has two buttons across so it's like double sided could be worn like both ways this way and that way uh, the finish is very smooth it's sli slightly textured i think last year it was the similar uh, type and and um, yeah, it does look expensive because the, the fabric feels quite dense. And I think a blazer like this, you can totally uh, wear for, for the going out occasion. Okay, sorry, I think I had to up, I had to adjust my lighting for this video. So this is much better now. Uh, you can see the, the real uh, pink of my denim and you can see the, the, white, the white of my blazer. Uh, the blazer composition is uh, viscose, mostly 70% viscose and polyester, so it feels more like a cotton type of blazer. And I think I'm also wearing a size extra small or small, or let me just double check because I forgot. Yeah, it is a size small, so you can see it's really, really kind of huge, huge oversized blazer. You might want to create a bit more definition in this area by wearing something cropped here. I don't know if you could do black, probably you could do black. If you go out in a blazer like this, you could wear a, a cute, you know, like bra 
that is like sparkly and some um, mini skirt I guess that's what you could do or like also white white fitting denim but uh, with sparkly bra something like this I think I just realized the problem is not the dynamic uh, light uh, changes of the light in the camera but the changes of the light in the fitting room I think that they made it this way I also noticed it in Prada I think it's some new technique I guess it's some new technique they're using to make people feel like they're in a club or like the, the light changes like during the day or make it a bit more like in like um, sunset or sunrise environment like a golden golden hour kind of light because it's like the prettiest in terms of uh, footage shooting and here's uh, another item that I really love uh, this cap uh, it, it has a cotton finish I really like the shape I think I might actually need a cap like this I already have two and one of them is um, the polar Ralph Lauren but the, that one has a really soft fabric so it um, doesn't look keep the shape this well I think this one is really cute and here's I'm just pretending to be this cool like young person and I think this outfit also will look really cool with the pink blazer let me grab it here is the pink blazer and uh, yeah it is I look like a totally crazy person but you can see that it's much more smaller so that's if you're looking for a really oversized blazer I'll go for that one it has the right look this is a lot more normal <laughs> you can I guess you kind of do both like oversized and a lot of color uh, the second blazer uh, in neutral color. I like the color and I like the feel of the fabric. It has a lot of viscose in the um, in the fabric, um, so it feels like really really soft to touch. Might be a little bit impractical. I'm not sure how to clean it if you happen to have a staining, which I happen to have a lot because I usually wear my blazers a lot and I'm with the kids. So it says actually that you could hand wash it but I have not ex had experience. Maybe you can actually hand wash it and then press it. I feel like the fabric could become a bit soft uh, after the wash but I'm just not especially because here it looks amazing because everything is pressed. But also if in case if you wash it you might um, end up in having a very soft blazer like a cardigan type if you're into that you can check it out i guess the double uh, button blazers like this is not my favorite kind so i'm gonna keep looking but i did do really like the color and uh the bike shorts actually are really cute I like them the way they fit so what you need actually is them to look good so these look good because first of all they don't look my leg look like sausage and I think they have a slimming effect because they have really a long like thicker rib knit I'm not sure if you can see it I probably you can see it and it's not too tight in this part and I don't have small hips right here I always get squeezed by them so I tried like last year yeah, I had a pair of Alo yoga bike shorts and they were terrible uh, because they were squeezing my leg. They were a little bit short. They were maybe like would work for very skinny legs and they washed pretty badly so instantly and they looked like really cheap and terrible. But here's something inexpensive and it has a like bigger waist and I like that it has a sleek look. See you can there is no like line so it's actually pretty good i think i'm gonna go for this little uh bra kind of top i actually got it in a, a size extra extra small because i figured that it might just expand more and uh, you know your chest area might look a bit bigger i don't know um if it's a bit more tight but uh, so far so good uh, this was from the divided section and uh, this was from also i think divided section but in order i'll hope i'll link them the bottom is an extra small and um, i find it amazing i think it's even seamless okay it's um it doesn't have even a seam on the back oh my god it's pretty amazing so only seam is across and um yeah very sleek look i think it was impossible to see sorry i don't know what happened with the lighting here but here you can actually see the true colors so yes i really uh, am enjoying this uh, short top i think for the hot summer days it should be really good and uh this uh 
um, yeah, the bike shorts have a very sleek look that I like and uh, they're not pushing into your legs so you actually uh, have a slimming effect and very nice and finished belt so there is no like belt it's just like ends here and it's seamless it's so cool uh, not with this blazer though I don't like this blazer but I will try some colored ones now on the back it actually looks pretty cute so if you don't need a blazer that you would close in the front I think this looks nice um, especially like I guess it's a right to check if your hair color uh, suits your the color of your blazer because people see you, you from the back and uh, you have to kind of look good from the back when you're wearing a blazer so I think in terms of color I actually like the blazer so <laughs> I have to decide now if I want to go for it we have four more blazers to check out um, all of them are very very summery so yeah think about which color actually would work best for you for the summer either one neutral or like one black or a pastel but in blazers you definitely don't need too many of them i think maybe like three or four is the maximum i think i have two uh black blazers that i really like so one is more like smart and for work and one is very casual that's why i wanted a uh, something uh, in a light color what actually happens here with this lighting the first one that I'm trying is more polyester -y, so they all are kind of lined in polyester some of them the bright ones are they have some linen and this is the a beige color what I can say the beige color uh, gives you a lot of like vintage vintagey vibes um, like a little bit like a dad granddad blazer I'm not sure if it's the look that I'm after I can remember my granddad had a like, very similar suit and my dad had a very similar blazer in the wardrobe uh, this is double buttoned so what I like is that the fabric is very light uh, very easy to move around and uh, the pockets are not too low fitting so it could be a good neutral option I probably would wear it with one button closed or with, uh, with all buttons up open oh, doesn't have a slit on the back so it's like uh, cardigan probably you could size up I think it's like extra small and you could go for a small or medium I probably would go for a uh, small yeah for a better fit I've changed it up a bit and I'm starving because I skipped my lunch <laughs> so we have to be quick here yeah. uh, the next place that I'm trying it's so cute it is a size small of pale lila uh, the composition is polyester and tensile lysol so tensile is the material that's made of cellulose of trees so kind of trees are made into fabric like paper and it uh, feels very nice very soft and I like the cut because it just has a single button it just looks right for me uh, it looks really amazing in terms of proportions because it's not long and I like one these uh, things are a bit more open and uh, I think with my bag look, should look really cute so what do you think maybe um, for where I live it actually works really well as a, like a school run outfit if you have a tank top bike shorts and then something on top to cover up from the AC let me think about it I was thinking like this blazer but in this neutral color they didn't make it so you know, lilac maybe I'll do lilac so the pink is actually the same blazer as the lilac one uh, same composition same cut but uh, it's a smaller size so it looks a little bit more skimpy i think i would actually even size up two times to have a bit cooler fit for this blazer so if you're really really petite you might be able to pull off extra small in this blazer because it's not oversized let me try to grab a medium in this and uh, maybe they have it in black on the website if you are shopping online here they didn't bring it here but i think that's a particular cut of the black one is my favorite for the summer but i think i have it in medium let me just double check as i was writing to get a bigger size i was thinking like this is the point where you need to decide why be boring you we don't want to be boring with the outfits and why not to try something pink you probably know my pink jeans um i probably should ask somebody who is like a stylist if it really suits for me but if you find it fun to wear why not 
thing is, I always say why not, why this like It's a word that I always use. So this is a medium and uh, same blazer. It looks much cuter and uh, more roomy. Um, this, I don't think it looks too big. And uh, I also found this cute shoes. They are um, like slippers. If you are looking for summer type of slippers, these are really cute. Or like after gym shoes. And they also have a platform. Here, just so you can see the the fit of the pink blazer a bit better. Maybe if you don't want to go for a medium, but at least go for a small. I think small is really good. Yeah, probably medium was a bit too much. And yeah, the shoes. Uh, this is the last blazer in this haul, and it's pistachio green, very light. It makes me hungry. Look at this color. <laughs> a bit like a lingerie, not not as bright as a lingerie. A textured material, a lot of linen in the side. I think on the website I saw a suit in a similar fabric that was blue. They didn't have it here. So very nice. Uh, like the fabric looks really nice. Out of them all, I quite like it as well. And uh, I think it's a size extra small, so it's a little bit too uh, skimpy. I guess it's just depending on the shoulders. So my shoulders are a bit big, so probably a small. I guess yes, yeah, small would be the right choice for me. It's actually uh, not a bad option. Instead of like light lilac or pink, I might actually. Uh, do this one uh, because it makes everything a little bit, a bit more elevated. If you compare these fabrics, they're a bit like more like soft falling. This one is a bit more stiff, so it slightly elevates. Like so, the most very casual uh, outfits. If you wear it with a white jeans, it might this will make it a bit more polished. And I also wanted to show you a tip how to see yourself wearing a blazer or anything else. I found this tip myself, and I think it's really useful mm, so if you're in a, any shop it's easy actually to do on shop floor you put your phone against something and then you walk back and you turn turn around and see yourself uh, from different angle uh, this is what I did last year and uh, I was like not into oversized blazers because I thought it would be like a funny thing uh, to have and I didn't like everything to be oversized but I found that um, with the legging it worked really well for me so uh, why not give it a try so you can just grab any phone and put it in a front like front camera lean it against something on the shop floor and then you can actually like walk back and uh, try to see yourself from different slightly different angle and see yourself from quite kind of far away and um, turn so if you just look in the mirror you might not be able to see yourself properly so this is my like style tip i would say and don't make decision right away in a sh uh, there at the shop go home or go out of the shop sit in a coffee shop have a coffee and just browse and just see which item you think looks better try a few different colors a few different sizes and uh, yeah when you pose not holding your camera in your hands here right i uh, just uh, see that uh, i mean i look I look at the movement of the fabric look of what what it kind of looks like in in a dynamic uh in dynamic it always is better uh to see things uh, so here here was my style tip i hope it was useful for you thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and check my instagram and also links from this video support ukraine so i'll be very grateful if you support my channel as well i'm gonna see you in my next